Hello and welcome back to the art room. Uh, this is another lesson video for my uh, my awesome second grade friends. Okay, so my second grade friends, uh, so far this year, we've been working on what is a still life uh, and what is a landscape. Today we're going to be working on what is a portrait. All right, so a portrait is a picture uh, or a painting where the person is the reason for the picture or painting. So let me show you some examples. So in this picture, all right, the reason for the painting, this is a painting, uh, is the person. This is actually what's called a self-portrait, which is when uh, this, this lady here in the portrait is actually the person who's also painting the portrait. Uh, so she painted a picture of herself, which is why we call it a self-portrait. All right, but uh, that's what a portrait is. A portrait is a picture. There's another self-portrait. All right, a picture where the artist, all right, uh, has made uh, a painting or a picture uh, where the purpose of the painting or picture uh, is to uh, show a person. Okay, um, not all are self-portraits. Some people, a lot of uh, there was a whole job um, that you could do one day uh, where you can paint portraits of other people. Uh, and here's one where an artist painted a portrait of a family. So this is a portrait of a family. So it could be one person. Um, but it could also, so it could be it could be one person, or it could also be a group of people in a portrait, right? But a portrait is where people, where are the people are the focus of the artwork, and uh, the artwork is about the people in the picture, right? Uh, here's an older portrait. This one is also of a family, right? So portraits are pictures where people are the center. This one uh, is a portrait uh, by an artist who painted this lady and he is a famous artist. This is regarded as one of the most famous works of art uh, in art history uh, uh, and this would be the Mona Lisa uh, painted by Leonardo da Vinci. All right. Uh, so this is an example of an artist painting somebody else in a portrait. Okay. Uh, which is pretty awesome. So today what we're going to be doing all right, to practice our portrait skills, okay, uh, we're gonna be making, I'm gonna show you how to draw a portrait, okay? Uh, I'm gonna use, uh, this This is my example here. Uh, this is the one where I was actually sitting across from, uh, uh, well, he was my best friend at the time, but now he's my husband, all right? So this is a picture of my husband that I drew, and I'm going to show you how to draw the head, the eyes, all right, the nose, the mouth, the ears, the neck and shoulders. And you can see I even did like a little tie dye background uh, with the markers because uh, I thought that'd be fun. But I'm going to show you how to draw this, all right, how to do that part. And then I'm going to show you a game that you can play. OK, so let's go ahead and get started. All right. You're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil for this. OK, so go ahead and get a piece of paper and a pencil. All right. So. The first thing I'm going to do on my paper, this is going to be my paper, is I'm going to draw the shape of a head. Now, normally I have these tracers that you can use um, since it's your first time drawing a portrait uh, with me. Usually I have these tracers you can use, uh, but since it's not a situation where we can like be giving out supplies right now uh, to you, uh, I don't have those for you. But all right, this is how we're going to do this. So we're just going to have to freehand, and that's okay, all right? The more we practice this, the better we'll get, all right? Uh, so this is a good chance for us to uh, practice our skills. So put your pencil on that paper, and I want you to draw a nice big oval. So go ahead and practice drawing a nice big oval. And the more times you do that, the better you'll get. So you might want to, the what side you start with, you might want to choose that to be the back, and you just practice until you get a nice oval you like then flip it over and do your final oval, okay? So get a nice oval and that's gonna be the head, okay? So that oval is the head, all right? Once you've got an oval that you like, and don't stress about this, if your oval isn't perfect, that's totally fine, right? Uh, the shapes and sizes of heads are not perfect in real life, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it to a nice big oval that you like, okay? It should be big though, you don't want anything teeny tiny, um, because we do need to add eyes and nose and mouth and all that good stuff uh, to it, so it shouldn't be too teeny tiny. You need it kind of big, kind of filling up most of the page. All right, so you've done the oval. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Take my pencil, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw one line down, and then over here, two lines down. All right? This part is the what? The neck! That's right. So that's going to be the neck. All right. 
Now see, my lines don't go all the way to the edge of the paper. They stop. And then I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw a line out, start here, a line out. Those are the shoulders. So we've got a head, a neck, and some shoulders. All right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to go whoop, make that shirt. Might even add a little detail to that shirt collar. There are many different shirt collars, so you could be doing one, maybe you've got one where it's more of a triangle situation with a collar, right? So many different ways you could do that, okay? But go ahead, draw a t-shirt on your person. All right, next, I'm gonna use a different color so you can see this. So let's use this purple. All right, so we need some eyeballs, all right? When you're drawing a portrait, the person needs to have eyeballs, right? So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here and I'm going to go ahead and draw one football so how I do that is I do one line just like that I'm going to go over here draw another line just like that all right then down here around and around two big football eyes okay next we're going to need some eyelids okay for my eyelids I'm going to start in this corner and I'm going to go around to the other corner. Start in this corner, go around to the other corner. Okay. Inside the eyes, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw one big circle with one little circle in it. One big circle with one little circle in it. If you want, you can add eyelashes to that eyelid right there. You want to add some eyelashes to them. All right, next I gotta add some eyebrows. To make my eyebrows, all right, I just like to make the shape. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna go down, across, back up. Down, across, back up. And I've made some eyebrows. Don't stress over this, remember this is fun, okay? So just practice it, uh, keep doing this again. Uh, if you need to rewind the video, pause the video at any time, rewatch the video, that's totally fine, okay? totally fine for you to go at your own pace okay all right but you're doing a great job and I'm proud of you okay so you've got those football eyes you got the circles in the eyes the little dots in the eyes you got the shape of the eyebrows I'm gonna go ahead and make a nose for me right now I'm just gonna use a little bump for the nose so I'm gonna go boop. that's gonna be the nose down here I'm gonna make a smile All right, I'm gonna put a letter M on top of that smile for the top lip. See that, it just looks like a letter M. And then on the bottom, a letter U. There you go, top and bottom lips, see? It's an M up here and it's a U down here. Cool. All right, I'm not done yet. Person still needs ears, right? So I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna draw one ear. This is gonna be, I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna do the letter C and then backwards letter C. It looks a little funny right now, right? That's okay, that's normal. Ears are kind of funny. Here, you can look at mine. Just stick out a little bit on each side. All right, next I'm gonna do a squiggle line in each squiggle. Squiggle line in each ear. I might even choose to add my earrings to it. Dot, dot, all right? My person needs some hair. You know that everybody rocks different hairstyles, right? So rock whichever hairstyle you've got. Add whatever kind of hair. Now, what I usually tell friends during this lesson is I tell my second grade friends, hey, don't sit there and try to do each and every itty bitty tiny little line. That's gonna drive you crazy, okay? So instead of doing each and every itty bitty line, just try, try drawing the shape of the hair and here's how you do that okay so I'm gonna start for me I'm gonna start where that part is I'm gonna draw this line going here I'm gonna go off to this side I'm gonna go off to that side I'm gonna go up I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna erase what I can't see so I can't see the top of my head because my hair is there so I'll erase that 
I might decide if I want the ears as where I can see them. Maybe I'm like, oh, I'm going to erase one ear so I can't see that ear, but I can see that ear. Maybe like my hair is kind of tucked behind one ear in the picture. All right. So it's up to you how you want to do that, right? And if you have short hair, you could just go up, across, down, right? Some people have that as a hairline. Many people have different kinds of hairlines. It's totally normal, right? Maybe you have the M. There you go. Maybe you have long hair. Maybe you have short hair, right? So just try drawing the shape of the hair. You might even have, um, this one's a cool one. I'll show you some different hairstyles here. So maybe if somebody's wearing their hair in like a bun, I would just put a circle on top for where that bun is. Maybe that person has, maybe the person you're drawing has two buns. Maybe that person has braids. If you're doing braids, my kind of quick way to do braids, because um, uh, this goes along with the game I'm going to show you, my kind of quick way to do braids is I just draw football shapes connected to football shapes. And that's one way to kind of do a quick one, right? Right? So connecting those is one way you could do that. Put a hair tie and then put some hair on the bottom. All right, but there's so many different ways that you can show hair because everybody's rocking different hair, which is awesome. Now, why I'm telling you to draw quickly is because this goes along with our game, okay? We're going to do something called the blind portrait challenge, okay? This is how it works. Uh, normally when I teach this, we're all together. I give you a stack of paper. Um, so if you have some, just and you can use any kind of paper that you've got at home, uh, but just use some paper, get a little stack, all right? Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to find a partner uh, to do this with, okay? So uh, find somebody at home, uh, maybe a little brother, little sister, uh, auntie, uncle, grandma, somebody's hanging out with you today, um, but sit across from them. And this is normally how I would show you. So normally I would show you an example of how the blind portrait challenge works. Okay. So with the blind portrait challenge, you have a little stack of paper and you have a pencil, right? You're going to start with your first partner, right? The first two people up. So I would pick, let's say, mm, I'm going to pick you as my partner for the first one. Okay. So get ready. You're going to be my first partner I'm gonna start okay so you got to pick which one of you is gonna start okay you both have a little bit of paper you both have a pencil right I'm gonna start by I'm gonna draw you but I can't look down at my paper and you're gonna see that it's going to look wild okay uh, why are we doing this Mrs. O'Neill well we're doing this because I want you getting in the habit of thinking well I know what a portrait is a portrait is a picture of a person I remember that from my portrait challenge game that I played and I also remember that in my portrait, when I'm drawing another person, I need to include important things like eyes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, ears, neck, shoulder, and hair. We need to include all that good stuff when we're drawing, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I can't look down at my paper. So I'm like, my paper is down here on the table. I cannot look down. I'm just going to look at you and I'm going to start by drawing your head. All right. I've got a head, a neck. I got to guess where the neck and shoulder should go because I can't see where I'm drawing. Okay. I'm looking at you. You've got two eyeballs. So I'm going to draw your eyes just like Mrs. O'Neill showed you how to draw. I'm going to draw my eyeballs, eyebrows. All right, I'm going to draw your nose, draw your mouth, okay, I'm going to draw your ears one at a time, ear on this side, ear on this side, I'm going to draw your hair, okay, draw your shirt, and let's take a look at it, shall we? Oh my goodness, see, nothing is where it's supposed to be because I couldn't see, right? So that's what the blind portrait challenge is. Uh, your job while you're doing the blind portrait challenge, you've got your paper, you've got your pencil, right? Your job is to make sure you're getting all the parts. So you're making sure you're getting their eyes, 
right? Their head, the most important thing, I would start with the head. You got to make sure you got the head, the eyes, the eyebrows, the nose, the mouth, the ears, the neck, the shoulders, the hair, all right, the t-shirt, all that good stuff, okay? So that's your job. Don't look down. Your partner's going to help. Your partner's going to be looking at you, so your partner's going to be able to check you if you're uh, trying to look down at that paper, right? After you've done yours and you show it to them, you guys have a good giggle at that, uh, then it's their turn. Uh, they get to now draw you without looking down, okay? And uh, normally how we do this in my classroom is I would, like, time you guys, and that's why I say go fast, because normally I'd give you, like, a couple uh, seconds to do it, uh, and then, uh, then I would yell, switch and then you got to switch partners um you know uh, you and the other partner and then you know when we switch again you got to go find a new partner and do this so that's kind of how we run our blind portrait challenge game i hope you guys enjoy doing your blind portrait challenge game if this is one of the art lessons that you would like to turn in for a grade please turn in the first one that you drew the one that you drew along with me where you drew the head and the eyes and you practice drawing the nose the ears the hair the mouth all that good stuff um on your first generic one that we kind of practice together. So just take a picture of that. You don't have to color this one in. Um, you can if you want to, if you'd like to color it in, you can do that, um, but you don't have to. Uh, it's just one of those things that is optional. If you wanna include that tie dye before I go, if you wanna include that kind of tie dye look, all I did with that is I would take different colors of marker and I just kind of in the background did a little scribble and then took a different color and did another scribble right next to it. I just kept changing it up and doing different scribbles and that's kind of how you get that tie-dye kind of look in the background, right? But definitely take a picture of it, all right? Send it to me. Uh, you can post it to Seesaw. You can uh, send it through to me through Remind or you can send it through to my email. Uh, if you send it to one place, you don't have to send it to the other places. Uh, so just make sure that it's either under this activity in uh, Seesaw, or you know, you send it to me through Remind in a message, or you send it to my email uh, to make sure that it gets where it needs to go. Uh, remember, uh, my name is uh, Kristen O'Neill, so that's who you're looking for. All right, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, working on portraits today with us. Uh, I'm sh I sure did. Uh, I hope you have a good time playing the blind portrait challenge game, uh, where <laughs> you can't look down at your paper to draw your portrait. Remember to get all of the parts in there when you're doing so. Okay, I'll. See See you guys next week. Bye.